Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the Velocity Channel and I want to tell you about the stimulus checks, all right? Calls for the fourth round of stimulus checks have been heating up, but Washington has been cool to the idea. An online petition to send Americans $2,000 a month until the U.S. is clear of this whole situation is nearing 3 million signatures. Meanwhile, President Biden and Congress Democratic leaders have moved on to other priorities, including $1.2 trillion bipartisan plan to rebuild the U.S. infrastructure. But the massive stimulus bill the president signed in March included $350 billion in aid to states and local governments that could be used to make additional direct payments. You see that? Some governors, including California's Gavin Newsom, have pushed their states to pay stimulus checks. Now, here are the states that are providing relief payments to help residents cover household expenses or pay down debt. States now paying out stimulus checks, the first one's going to be California. All right. California is preparing to distribute its second round of stimulus checks and the nation's most populous state is using its own money to do it, not federal funds, all right? Quirks in the state's tax system, uh, the record-shattering stock market, and other factors have actually left California with a huge budget surplus, which it will soon be tapping to send cash to residents earning $75,000 or less. An earlier wave primarily went to, the making, to those making $30,000 or next, okay? The new payments are expected to go out in September, okay? And will give each California resident between five and $600. Households with dependent children will get an additional $500. Now, these checks will be issued automatically to Californians who filed 2020 tax returns. The next date, Florida, all right? In recognition of the special difficulties these teachers have had, navigating their way through the situation. Florida has been doing and doling out a thousand dollar checks to its educators, all right? The Sunshine State also is paying first responders, including law enforcement officers, paramedics, emergency medical technicians, and firefighters. Up to a thousand dollars as an acknowledgement of the many sacrifices they've been making throughout this situation. The next state, New Mexico, okay? New Mexico's stimulus program divided $5 million to helping low-income residents who weren't eligible for federal stimulus checks. More than 4,000 households across the state received up to $750 in emergency financial assistance. The state's Human Services Department said in an early August news release that the entire $5 million was not paid out so a second round of checks would be issued within the next couple of months. Tennessee. T -t -t Tennessee. Earlier this year, Tennessee State Legislature passed a bill providing teachers with hazard pay for making it through the worst of the situation. Lawmakers had originally proposed 2% raise for educators, but it was ultimately replaced with a one-time payment of $1,000 for full-time teachers. Part-time teachers will receive $500. It's expected the checks will be mailed out by the end of this year. There's another state that starts with a T, Texas. While there's no statewide program for COVID relief payments in Texas, some local school districts are providing their employees with stimulus checks in the form of retention bonuses. In the Dallas suburb of Irving, the bonus is as much as $2,000. In nearby Denton, teachers will receive $500 and, and a 2% pay increase if they return to work in the fall for the 2021-2022 school year. Several Texas school districts have approved pay raises for educators instead of direct payments. States that previously paid out stimulus checks. Okay, these are the states. Colorado. The Colorado Comeback, which Governor Jerry Polis announced last fall, included $375 checks for residents who received at least one employment unemployment payment between March 15th and October 24th of last year. 
The payments targeted lower income households and weren't available to anyone who qualified for more than $500 a week in base unemployment benefits. Some 408,000 people got the money. The Colorado Department of Labor and Employment said this, okay? So that's what they said. So here's another state that in the past gave out the payments, okay? Georgia, okay, it opted to give its full-time teachers and administrators $1,000 stimulus payments described as thank you bonuses. Part-time educators got $500. Do you see a pattern there? The Peach State, it also provided $1,000 bonuses to 57,000 state employees earning $80,000 or less. Maryland, okay, that's another one. Earlier this year, they handed out stimulus checks to low to moderate income households. The payments provided $500 to families and $300 to individuals who qualified for the earned income tax credit in 2020. And in a breathtaking move, Officials repealed all state and local taxes on unemployment benefits for Maryland citizens or residents. Combine that with the federal government's big tax break on unemployment payments and many who received unemployment in Maryland last year, they've enjoyed big tax savings. All right, here's another state. And our last state, Michigan. Late last year, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer announced MI Classroom Heroes. Grants totaling $53 million in hazard pay for teachers and another $20 million to recognize school support staff. Checks of $500 and $250 for teachers and school staffers were to be mailed out to qualified applicants by the end of February. Folks, if you have any questions on these, don't hesitate to give me a buzz info at velocityc.com. We teach people how to get business credit and how to lower your debt or eliminate it very quickly using the velocity banking method thank you so much for tuning in and you guys have a great day god bless